Hey folks, welcome to Star Sector. I'm Major Freak. Uh, rarely make my microphone uh, recordings for uh, Star Sector. I've done it a few times so far. Probably two dozen or more videos. Um, just thought I'd pop in and give you guys a live update about what my thoughts are because it's kind of hard to just do it as a let's play. So I'm, was it, the year start, it, the game started six years ago just over um, I have an entire star system uh, with five I believe five uh, uh, planets they've got almost all what I need being built right now uh, I'm still learning about the best place to build things but it's slowly evolving into something I can get a good grasp on now uh, as you can see in past videos, I've been explaining in the description that I wanted to take advantage of this, the um, this summary, cargo and storage and resource stockpiles. Now I can't separate them uh, into categories of storage versus resource, so I've started to put certain surplus commodities I have on hand uh, into uh, the storage not the resource but the storage and that allows me to glance quickly while I'm out not at the station itself um, to look at its storage I've got metals uh, metals uh, transplonic uh, trans transplant transplutonic ore the rare ore and ore at uh, Duzac prime my first colony I don't have any storage in ironworks or in the other mining facility I have a third mining facility that I don't have a mining facility on uh, it's just there for defense and I placed uh, uh, was it an open market a uh, freeport freeport status uh, and of course it's got the biggest um, command and I'm going to upgrade this first this will be the first orbital station I'll upgrade to uh, Star Fortress yeah I'll be pushing hard for that um, because the game seems to say that I'm going to suffer a great deal uh, if I make something a freeport so I'll expect to be bribing a lot of fleets and failing that at least I've got a, a force that'll stand it off I, I won't get battered so that is my long-term goals that I've been fulfilling this campaign. That and seeing how the save game uh, is, if there's any problems saving the game this late in. And it seems to be fine so far, and I think it'll be fine into the late game as well. I don't foresee anything overloading the system trying to save the game. So, so far, uh, this campaign has been a complete success. And of course I'll use the same map seed. Uh, you get the map seed from the character sheet right here and you can copy it. Um, now I found that it'll change the names and stuff of constellations if I add or remove certain mods, the faction mods specifically. So if as long as nothing adds like a faction mod, I don't add any faction mods, My the map seed will work. Now, as soon as I add Nexarellon, I'm pretty sure the map seed will not work to generate something for a mir mirror perfect image. Uh, so, with that caveat in mind, I'm hoping next campaign I can use Nexarellon to up the ante and have even more fun. Hopefully, when I go to my home systems, I'm not charged tariffs. <laughs> what? Uh, it's kind of upset that um, the the Freeport, uh, I have a commerce there now. It doesn't have a black market. I'm like, what? I have to pay tariffs? What? So, yeah. But for now, I'm going to concentrate on fully exploring every aspect of, of the game. Uh, my short-term goal that I want to really focus in on is this the types of fleets that spawn in each planet. 
Now I've got my doctrine and that I'm assuming that is the case for all. I mean, they, it's just to completely random. I mean, I, I, don't, I think this is just a typical. I, I don't think when I regenerate, it's not gonna be fixed. So when I click on this, it's not gonna try to completely copy this. Eh, I'm pretty sure, but I'll be testing that, of course, but I'm assuming not. I'm assuming these are just, um, you know, random examples of, of what happens. <laughs> oh, just ate a big donair. Woo! All right. So, I wanted more warships. Uh, I didn't want a lot of carriers. Uh, I'm really comfortable with the Papillon. It is an awesome oh, uh, dagger wing. I want Papillon, but I haven't found it yet. But yeah, dagger wings are okay for now. But uh, phase ships would only last so long, so I don't want that. And chondrite, cool. All right. Um, ship quality, I'm okay with the ship quality uh, because that means I can have more ships. Uh, one or two. Um, you know, I had more, uh, but I've got... Um, rec not recently, but a bunch of videos ago when I first went exploring in the... Uh, Lovat, or I, I forget, uh, the one to the left of um, Motley Constellation that I've been exploring uh, currently. Um, or going to, no. I'm in the Amox um, Constellation right now. I'll go west for the Motley, and then uh, west of that is the where I found this, the Nanoforge, and it allows me to build less damaged uh, ships, which is awesome. All right, so I'm also curious that, you know, I would, if I have multiple heavy industries, if I build at one, if I use custom production and I s set the custom production to something else, like gathering point, whatever, um, would the bonus of one shipyard translate to... Uh, yeah, the the D mods on another. It's is it the highest level of um, you know um, building that you can get? Is that is that a blanket for all your ships? I suspect it is. I would like to have an, the ability to buy pre-select. You know, just search for a couple of D mods that that are, that I don't worry about by the lower the cost of. Um, Deployment and maintenance and all that. Well, not deployment, but maintenance and, and fuel, right? Uh, for all that stuff. So I'm hoping for something like that, but we'll see. We'll test that out. So I have to test. I want to go to each planet and just sit there and, you know, not record, of course, because it would be hellish boring. But, well, I'd probably record, but keep it unlisted and just record what spawns um, from the planet in question. Um, keeping them all, uh, this, uh, you know, the make sure I have myself as the admin there and I just sit there or I just remove the admin altogether and just watch what spawns with no admin and just watch how it spawns what happens um I believe you can see it fleets um yeah um okay ship quality stability let's see how about this one, Ironworks? That's so fleets. Oh, okay, so it 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 doesn't matter. It it's going to be blanket for um, the Nano Forge bonus. So all right. So an average of one D mod per hull. That'd be perfect for lowering costs. But you know, sometimes I'll get two. So hopefully, what I'm looking for is, of course, my favorite ship. It is just awesome. The um. The Direwolf, just an awesome ship. Just love it to bits. Um, unfortunately, to have the weapons last campaign I had, I would need Blackrock Drives yard, Blackrock Drive yards, and uh, the red ships have their bases over to the east. Uh, spindly little things. Uh, they have Wanzers for fighters. You know the what I'm talking about. Anyways, so that one has another, the the, the weapon outfit on this thing. Uh, it's great for chasing down and killing things relentlessly. It's awesome. Um, but anyways, yeah, I, I'll get to that eventually. Uh, next campaign, I'm not going to add 
any faction mods except Nexarellum, and we'll work slowly. Uh, I might consider um, adding the faction mods after I start the campaign in order to prevent uh, the systems from being spawned, but still have the weapons and ships available. That would be nice. Uh, I'll test that, of course, in the next campaign. Uh, many moons from now, I'm assuming. I want to get back to playing EVE, so this uh, this will have to take a back burner for sure for a while. So uh, it'll definitely go go to sleep for a while and grow, grow some dust. So sorry about uh, one person who's watching my <laughs> videos. Thanks for watching. All right. So yeah, that's that's where I'm at right now. Um, I'm fascinated if there was any lowering of profits while the pirates were harassing me that bit. But I want to get it to the point where I'm not building anything anymore and the income is consistent. And then I could start looking at, you know, uh, percentage of the global market. Um, I had to play around with our markets. Uh, Without Nexarellan, that's a bit difficult, but yeah, it'll be fun to see who I can trade with and hopefully take advantage of uh, the Shadowy Broker, which I haven't, I've done, I think, once in this entire series. Uh, check out the Shadow Broker for uh, possible uh, uh, trade routes, but yeah. Um, after payrolls are getting up there, It'll probably peak around the same 35, maybe. I'm assuming. Uh, that'll be, you know, 70, 75. Um, but I've got uh, a heck of a lot of income now. Um, I'm okay with this being negative. Uh, I want, I want the ability to go in and say, oh, okay, I need. So the only thing being produced. Uh, by the gas giant is fuel, crew, um, no marines, so fuel, crew, and volatiles, which makes fuel. So those are the three, and everything else is in storage. And I've got it separate, so there's no uh, mixing. Well, the crew's going to mix. There's no way of getting around that. Any starport will produce crew. So I've just keeping them with the slaves and the marines and captains just makes sense so I can roll with that no problem and maybe I can discover possibly a maximum crew that the planet generates what 425 4000 it's like 440 4250 is the peak yes if, as long as I don't draw from those it will eventually reach that point and stabilize and um, maybe the size of the planet also indicates the size of this threshold, but at least I'll have a number I can work with eventually. So that's good. Um, and of course you see the others. The only thing this produces is crew. And drugs, actually. Um, as soon as I did Freeport, uh, the population started making drugs, which was interesting. Um, I'm going to see if I can take advantage of that. It's really interesting, actually. Uh, I'd love to get, uh, uh, I think mid AI gives, m it doesn't, I have to go to, um, high grade, a uh, alpha, uh, AI, alpha core, um, to get a extra production, I think. Uh, but yeah, I'll definitely want to get into that and raise this calling the eyes as much as possible to see what the drug running business is all I would love to get into that um, that would be so much fun um, you know thumb my nose at the hegemony who's giving me such a <laughs> hard time so yeah that'd be fun uh, that's that's also what I'm interested in um, yeah I'm prepared to bite the bullet on the income just to keep my ability to glance and go okay I can ignore the drugs because I've got the drugs here now and the organs and all that stuff but I've got all the normal um, 
Yeah, and it's great too because Dizak, and, and they're just awesome because they're right next to each other. Yeah, there's like three of them right here, and they just right there. It's just all available. I've got um, uh, a mid. That'll be a mid. Um, that'll be Dizak. This will be a low tech, and Prime has the high tech, so I can so I can just eyeball which I'm going to click on to dock at, so don't get confused. That'll be fun to actually look at as they grow um, in size uh, from Orbital Star Fortress. That'll be fun. Um, of course, my other ones I'm, I'm building, the uh, low tech and low tech. It's firepower. Hello. Um, that'll be fun if I have to join in in battle to defend it. Uh, I don't think I'll have to worry too much, but we'll see. Uh, I'm sure there'll be a pirate armada that gets to one of the planets, and I'll have fun with that. be interesting to see what the um, vanilla uh, orbital uh, decides to uh, fit on its uh, station in a combat. That'll be interesting. Uh, what kind of blueprints it takes advantage of that I've found in exploring. So the sector I've got, uh, the core sector, I have right about I'll show you how much of it I've gotten I think I've gotten about Bazas, Eos Exodus, Penelope Star I've got and I think there I think this this is what I've got as my background on my desktop right here do Zach's right here um, I want to uh, Photoshop uh, paint, sorry, paint to allow me to make this size any bigger. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll make a new one and then compress both of them and then see if I can get paint to cooperate to make uh, a, a height and an inclusive with a an extra level up there. I want to get in uh, West Western S dual um, and Utic and Zagan if, if I can help it. The tip of it would be great just to see the storms uh funny enough speaking of storms uh the only issue i've i've increased this ring and it actually i think it makes these orbit in a more dispersed pattern uh but i made the maximum ring uh, i think double uh i think um it's in the appendix how wide i made it but it makes going through the uh, the hyperstorms uh, kind of problematic, actually. So I like that idea. It forces me to think of making my fleet smaller. Um, that would be fun because, you know, if, if I'm going in a small uh, uh, fleet of smuggling ships, I'll eventually get, I want to get to that point in this campaign of trying that out. I want to get... Uh, certain ships uh, that are really low profile uh, but I think it's not produced naturally I've seen one or two in loot derelicts but they've not been um, uh, recoverable they just salvage uh, so I want to test that out later on in the late game that'll be fun uh, and how I deal with my officers as well that'll be key hopefully this music is continuing good yeah, and uh, for now, um, let's get on with it. Uh, th those are my long-term ambitions for this campaign and this game. So I'm up here in Amox. Uh, I've got a, I, uh, not an IBB bounty, but it said bounty. And uh, the, the Ned Daenerys came mid-mission. So I've done this, this particular save game a couple of times, so I know what... I'm facing and I know that I can actually get to this guy quickly he's gone out three days remaining but I'll transversal and head there beat him up uh, with this twice actually I'm going to he's gonna flee and I'm gonna try to use as little CP deployed as possible I oh speaking of I am going to I change the uh, battle size for maximum of 900 100 I'm gonna change it to 600 actually 
That's double the default. Come on. There we go. I'm going to save that. And yeah, uh, there is going to be a fleet if save games work the way I think they are. They will be a pirate armada that will bump into you on my way to... Uh, I think this star, it'll come right here, be right here. It'll be traveling north. Uh, that was an interesting fight. Uh, and I got a lot of uh, loot out of it. Even without, you know, you won't get salvage because it's hyperspace. But it was quite generous. So I want to test the battle size because I got 200. It, they were outnumbering me. Uh, I only got 200 CP to deploy. Um, that's 40% of 500. And 40% of 600 is 240, I think. So it'd be interesting to see if I get that. Um, I'd also like to see the situation reversed where I get... What? 360? 360. Uh, that would be a nice number to see uh, if I outnumber... Uh, the other party by that amount um, so that's also something I'm I'm testing to see where I'm happy with the fleet size I just totally want to deploy the ships I want to uh, to get uh, saturated ordnance um, in a small uh, frigate based fleet that would be fun um, so yeah uh, let's be about it Oh, uh, by the way, since I'm speaking, uh, there is something extremely important that's not shown in the settings. I've looked in the settings, right? Controls, look, see, so general, look for a T. Is there a T? There's only a T in combat, right? Switch view to target. And there's a T in fleet command, which is, if I remember correctly, it is... Retreat. <laughs> Use that a couple of times. Um, but it's not in general or campaign. And it's so important. Um, it gives you the ability to get rid of this this thing. where It goes right to the star, right? When you clicked on a star and you want to click on a planet. And then you got, oh, it's so annoying. You got go to you gotta go to tab. You got to go right click and get rid of it. Sometimes you accidentally press something else. It's, just press T, it just gets rid of it. Uh, it'll also stop your fleet. You know, just heads up on that. Alright. Order a jump. And I'm going to... This will heal flee, so emergency burn. I'll pursue him. Uh... I've, the last two playthroughs, uh, these guys pretty much get away. So what I'm planning on doing is just dedicating just solely ships that'll take out this guy. And he won't be able to turn fast enough before he dies. So it's just a straight shot, basically. Um, the cheapest way to do it is to use missile ships and it'll just pound the hell out of them and they're max level already so I don't really need to shove them in so I can just employ my entire well I don't want to go too high but I want to take him out quickly so I usually go 60 but that'll do oh cool no, we'll uh, actually get all these Um, just looking at this here, 184. Is it going to be enough if I have screening elements? 229, 240 for the battle size I'm thinking. That's okay. 236. 
239, 240. You have two of them, one of those, 234, 41. So I can have screening elements for just basically what's going to just devastate anything, really. So I'm going to do two. Deselect it. And then I'm just going to send them right from the bottom, which I usually don't, but just to take out that guy. And that'll do it um, probably instantaneously. Uh, that's 80 deployed. I probably won't. I'll probably get 80 in salvage. But yeah. Goodbye. That weight of metal? Yeah. Less enthusiastically than I thought. They're staying at a decent um, distance from it. I'm really happy about that. Kind of thought he would die quicker. Because I spent 80 on deployment, so... Not really enthused about that. Yeah, not not really enthused. There will be a massive launch, but they're about to get away. Yeah, goodbye. Won't be able to catch anything. So that was probably a huge waste. Yeah, see, 80 versus 72, it's, yeah, um, I don't exactly know why it's not 80. Um, I think it's because of demods lowering the actual recovery, not the deployment. Yes. That's it, isn't it? Because, um, yeah, the demods would lower the recovery. Does it say that? Yeah, there it goes. See? So I've got lesson for these guys by one, two, three, four, six, eight. So that translates to 72. I mean, 27, sorry. What? Was that a different number before? strange isn't that bizarre huh yeah I've, I've noticed some bugs in this it's really bizarre yeah I'll have to look at the video to see if uh huh it's, I'll put it in the description I'll try to remember anyways all right so uh 36 underwhelming whoops
That was definitely a bad call on that one. And I defeated their heads, so I'd get, yeah, I got the bounty, but they're taking off. I don't see debris, so I'm going to chase them again. Oops. Damn, and he disappeared. All right, so I wasn't able to get that, but I got the bounty. And, oh well. Yeah, I'll, I'll just quickly show you what I mean. Different strategies, it's interesting. Now, obviously I was assuming I'd A, instagibit, and B, I would get more loot out of that. Alright. So if you're going to hit T, keep your left mouse button, then hit T. There we go, see? You're not slowing down. And then you click on that. And go to emergency drive. Uh... If I'm going to chase things down and do it right, it'll usually be with carriers uh, and group three. That's usually what I go for. No, you don't. All right. So, group three. There we go. Split them between the two, and I launch these guys. Um, and that's more than enough to slaughter at least a few of them. I'm not going to push anything more in. I just keep the cost down to the same 80. Yeah, and so this is how it works. Now I lost a couple of guys last time doing this If when I didn't have the little uh, collies to protect things. There we go. nav point there get these guys slowly headed in that direction these two after that and yeah that should take care of things and that's almost come on there we go all right let these guys loose Priority targets. All right. Go. I want this guy down, of course. I don't care about any of these frigates right now. I'd like to take this guy out, but it's not going to happen. Unfortunately. Ignore that guy. Ignore that guy. They're going to get away. It's kind of hard to get these things nailed down, unfortunately. Get rid of their speed bonus. There we go. Take him out and go for... Oh, something's going to take the nav beacon. It's all right. All right, my nav beacon's going to be taken care of. That's where I like going in myself, so we can actually uh, protect those nav beacons. Because they, uh, they do add a bit of problem. Alright, so at least nobody's taking it. That's good. So we're going to do this thing, and I'm going to cut this thing loose. And that thing's going to die almost immediately. It won't get away. Oh, I'd love to take that out. 
It's going to get away, though. Sadly. But we will chase it down. That's that's the goal of uh, doing this fleet. Whoa. Ah. That actually might get away. Or not. Lol. Woohoo! Woohoo! Woo! Alrighty. So that's using a different strategy, but the same CP deployment cost. 62 needed for ongoing repairs. It says again. Eh, all right. Strange. I think, you know, I think that actually might be just repairs and not CP. I'm not really sure. It says combat readiness. CR, sorry. CP. Um, yeah, but combat readiness, I just... Sometimes it really throws me for a loop how it's calculated. Uh, the math in this game just throws me for a loop sometimes just looking at, you know, first glance numbers. Retreated. I'll send a couple of guys after you. Take them down. So, and I don't want anything from this. So I'm good. Pick through the wreckage. I don't, that's not bad. So I started with 569. I'm adding 107. There we go. Uh, right, level 14, I think I need it. How many other Reckless do I have with, uh, Power Grid? One, two, three, one, two, two of them, only two of them. Meh, alright, fair enough. I shouldn't have picked it, but whatever. I think I've got all the goodies I need. Uh, let's see, anybody else needs leveling up? Yep. Level 14, reckless as well. Uh, um, yeah, for sure. Those little atropos are... Brutal. Uh, evasive. Yeah, of course. And what gen? Um, I'm not sure if target leading would help for flamers. It might. But, uh, yeah, level 3 target analysis. But I'm always, like, admonic myself, too. And 15% energy uh, ballistic on flamers. I'm not sure that's going to help either. Um, level 22, and I've only got a few left. So if I pick that, then it's going to be random. And I might get two flight officer skills. So we're going to have to branch out. Bite the bullet. That's why I take the low level skills, so it gives me that fallback option. Uh, so I don't get stuck with a whole bunch of this. Because this is just crapshoot. I, I don't know what I'm going to get at all. Uh, yeah, I don't want that. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take that for steady. It's it's okay. It's an okay skill. Uh, really r rather would have taken um, gunnery, but you know, beggars can't be choosers, right? So, there we go. 
And I'll probably get salvaged this time around, but I want to chase this thing down. Let's try, yeah, I got salvage. Let's see, 0.5 density. And at 13, you're really going to get any more. And always look for afterwards the experience. If you get less than a thousand experience listed, listed right here, it's not going to be worth your time to try it again. Uh, sometimes it is uh, at to try again, but not when you get six, six, seven experience. Forget it. Um, I've already used my. Uh, I've got to keep it from getting to this planet, so I want to get inside its its orbit circle here, its curve. I want to get inside that curve until I can get my... Oh, I'm catching up to it anyways. Oh. No, you freaking don't. And it's going to try to head home, so it's not going to cost us any CP to catch it right now. If it touches the planet, it'll disappear. So there we go. Yeah, it doesn't cost us anything except fuel, and fuel's cheap out here so we'll pursue them take command and this time we don't need that much we just need to catch these suckers and they this one's gonna go quick and this might but these guys will catch it for sure so I'm gonna send in I'll send it that guy and you as well. Uh, yeah. How's this guy? 21. Yeah, I'll send in you. These guys are fairly quick, but they don't have any boost to quickness. It, 88 isn't exciting. Um, yeah, I think these are 20 and 23s. So I want to send in this guy just to get experience, but lowers the experience of the others. Uh got 31. I probably want to send in a 40. Get some experience as well. Um, 24. Oh, hell. Yeah. I'll send a you as well. You're good at killing things. Try to flee. Kill that for me. And you are going to kill that for me. And it's neat. It's slow, but it's uh, F special ability will give it more speed. It's pretty cool. Come on, special ability, get in there, use it. It's, this is aggressive. This is steady. This is aggressive. And this is cautious. And I need you to move that way. Taking a while to kill this thing. The enemy might. The, the enemy might try to take the nab buoy. Buoy. Yeah, it did. All right. It'll slow it down a bit, but it's now quicker than me. I think. I'd like to catch it, but I don't think that's going to be a. Yeah, this it's pretty fast actually. One seventy five. Uh, with its special burst, so it keeps up the rest. It's pretty cool. Come on, guys. Catch it. Don't think so. Oh, it's got some time. You might be able to take it out. Right on. A little bit extra salvage to... Yeah, 
yeah, a little bit extra salvage to offset the cost of uh, deploying these guys. And I don't like these missile boats anyways. I'll, I, I won't try to recover it. Come on. Full assault, guys. Full assault. Let's go. Let's get in there. experience and since I get supply recoup recouping I think that's a win and bounty which I will think it's gonna get me more iskies uh, port let's look at this report oh direwolf what are you doing And this one. No gains. Alright. And I think there's going to be a salvage field. No, oh, there's not. Alright, fair enough. I guess there has to be a minimum uh, CR involved. I guess so. All right, that's done. Sweet. All right, uh, so turning my phone off now.